Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with My Hero Academia. Last time on My Hero Academia, we had Symbol of Peace, where, uh, uh, the... Everything went to hell at the bar, there were, uh, 80 million Nomus, uh, we had the Oklahoma Smash, which was fucking awesome, and then All Might went to face All for One. Uh, the, uh, the gang was able to rescue Bakugo and get the hell out of there, as uh, All Might and Gran Torino faced all for one, while uh, the rest of the League of Villains got the hell out of there. And uh, everything was crazy. Uh, we did a huge hit on all for one, and it kind of uh, took out uh, All Might's time limit. Like, he's up. He's done. He can't use his powers right now. Uh, he's reached his limit, but all for one is still there and still pretty powerful. So, yeah. Um... As you can see over here, I have a new hoodie. It's a new Deku hoodie, which I would be wearing right now if it wasn't hot as balls outside. Um, probably wasn't my greatest idea to get this now, but I have it. Now I have two hoodies. Perhaps someday I will get more. Who knows? Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. I know, I know there's an All Might hoodie I could get. So, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Um... So yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen in this in this one. Like, how is All Might going to keep fighting? Is Midoriya going to have to come back and fight? I kind of don't see that. Maybe the other heroes will recover. Um, also, Best Genius is fucking dead, I'm pretty sure. Um, but maybe some of the other heroes will recover and they can help. I don't know. This is going to be a, this is gonna be a tricky one. Maybe Endeavor shows up. That'd be fucking awesome. Um... But yeah, that is pretty much that. If you want to watch my reaction to this episode of My Hero Academia, like always, you're going to have to go down in the description or to the pinned comment, click on the link, watch the reaction, hopefully have a good time. When you're done with that, pop right back over here for the discussion. So with that being said, we should go ahead and get right into this episode of My Hero Academia. Here we go. Gosh, that was it. He beat him with the United States of Smash. Holy shit. I... I feel like... I feel like I did in season one. Where I was like, oh, you know, I thought maybe, you know, it would be All Might and Midoriya taking on Nomu and stuff. And, I, and then I was like, oh, but I'm stupid. Of course not. It's got it. It's just all my... God, they pulled one over me again. I was like, I don't know. Maybe... I don't... I feel like Midoriya has to help in some... Some way. But nope. <laughs> nope. That was all my... Granted, the other heroes helped, at least. But... The other heroes helped, but... Man, that was also kind of a Boo Saga moment when fucking Endeavor's like, show him why you're the best, you know? I think this, I think this is it for All Might. I think All Might's done. I don't think he can do this anymore. Ugh. <sighs> Base is a little dusty. <sighs> I think that is the end of all might i think he has to retire now which in in his grand battle with all for one at least it wasn't like everyone else they said i'm pretty sure well did they say i don't remember but fucking at least with you know shimura when shimura faced all for one she died with All Might, I think he's just retiring now. And the secret's out. The secret's out that he has the weakened form, but fuck it. Who fucking cares? He's still he's still All Might. That uh, that is the fucking that is the fucking end game way to go, man. That is that is incredibly endgame, you know? 
Where, yeah, that is so endgame where All Might is Iron Man and, like, Midori is, like, fucking Spider-Man, you know? It's like, yeah, this was not like, yeah, he was there, don't get me wrong, but this was about fucking Iron Man. This was about All Might. Next, we'll have fucking Midoriya, Deku Far From Home, you know? Deku Far From Home, or whatever. Because the other thing is that, you know, you kind of wonder, it's like, man, with everything that they built up, you know, they hyped up all for one, and it's like, yeah, and it's it's already, we're, we're done. It's fucking done. Like, this is not a he'll get away and he'll come back some other time. It's like, no, he's done. That's it. That's it for all for one. And you kind of wonder, like, okay, well, with everything they talked about with, like, you know, um... With, you know, all my sayings, like, you know, as the holder of one for all, you may have to face him someday. No. Midoriya doesn't have to face him someday. But, you know, with that, it's like, okay, well, you know, you build up, oh, maybe Midoriya is going to have to face all for one someday, but no. Because the battle for him is with Shigaraki. Shigaraki is still out there, you know? For Midoriya, it's Shigaraki, not not all for one, you know. And that's that's kind of the thing too is that you know, if anything, All Might and All for One are sort of relics, relics of the past, you know. Even All for One admitted that he was like, "Look, I just fucking came here to save Tomura, but if we're gonna fucking fight. Let's fight," you know. It's like fuck it. You know, now this is definitely a passing of the torch both ways, you know? This is a passing of the torch from All Might to Midoriya, as well as from All for One to Tomura Shigaraki. Man. Ah. Oh. Man, oh man. That was just insanity. And man, after it took... It pretty much took eight generations to finally end All for One. A power that was... A power that began with All for One's brother passed through the generations, all culminating in All Might. Like, that's the strangest thing. You would think this show would be about All Might. You know, like, how the symbol of peace, you know, came to be and stuff. But this is such an interesting show when you really stop and think about it that... No, the show is about the next symbol of peace and the next symbol of evil, you know? The next pillar. The next generation. It's like if... It's like if Star Trek The Next Generation started you know, existed, but there was never an original series, you know? That's kind of what it is, you know? Like, everything... Like, you feel like you've been with All Might his entire life now. You feel like you've been with him on this journey, you know? And it's like, oh, man, his master, you know, he's, he's avenging his master and everything. It's like... Okay, it's like if... And I know some of you guys will find this scary. If the sequel trilogy of Star Wars existed and the original trilogy never did. Which I know some of you find scary. Though I guess, in a way... Because I know there's a lot of Star Wars references in this show. I guess, in a way, it's kind of like... <laughs> it's kind of like the original trilogy, actually. Yeah, actual... Hold on... Hold a fuck. Yeah, actually. It's like that if Obi-Wan did beat Vader. And then Obi-Wan just retired. You know, in A New Hope. It's like that, but it definitely takes it in a different direction. You know? It's, it's this, it, it is like that, but it takes it in a different direction. 
where instead of like, well, it's a full passing of the torch and Luke is the one who defeats the Emperor and, you know, saves Darth Vader and stuff, it's different where it's, no, it's Obi-Wan. It's Obi-Wan who goes and defeats them. It, it, like, it's basically like if Obi-Wan was defeating Maul, you know, and avenging avenging Qui-Gon basically yeah it is like that you know because at the at when the original trilogy was released there were no fucking prequels you know there were no prequels so man so crazy man so crazy but I think that's it I think that's the end of All Might but not the end of the symbol of peace. Because now, it's Midoriya's turn. But, that means that... I mean, there's... Granted, there's not going to be a symbol of peace for a while. Because Midoriya's still in training, you know? Like, that's the thing. Endeavor's kind of going to be the number one hero for a while. Because All Might has to retire. Man. Okay. Fucking. I'm going back. I'm going to watch that last hit again. I'm watching that last fucking hit again. Which, All Might, I love in this episode, All Might is doing the exact same, the exact same shit Midoriya used to do with all, or with One for All. Oh uh, man, seeing his arm bruised is fucking crazy. Oh! Uh! The United States of Smash. I fucking love that. Yeah, he's lost it. His power is gone. <laughs> so they did confirm that when you give the power to someone else, your own power diminishes over time. And that is it. And All Might has had it worst of probably anyone. All Might has had it worst of probably anyone because he has used that power to you know be all might you know to return to his normal form and now with a gun i mean now granted he still kind of has it i think he still barely has it because you know he did turn back at the you know at the end he turned back into his his old form So I think he still has a little bit of residual power, but I don't think he can fight with it. I think the most he can do now is just return to his form, you know? Like, I think he can return to his form for a little while, but I don't think he... If he tries to throw any sort of, you know, punch or smash, I think he will immediately revert back. I think he's done. I think this is it for All Might. But... If he's gonna fucking end it, he ends it with the United States of Smash. I fucking love his moves. His moves are so amazing. Oh my gosh. The only thing is, and... I want all 50 states, you know? I want all 50 of them. I want all 50 states to have a Smash. Which means he would have 52 states, because that would be 50 states... Plus Detroit, plus the United States itself. <sighs> oh, 
That's that's it. Fuck. All right. Let's go over the notes. The first thing I wrote down. Toshinori Yagi origin. Man. That was that was that was so crazy like seeing a young Toshinori with his ideals, you know, how he how he came up with the idea of the symbol of peace. And you know, uh Shimmer even saying he has this idea that crime rates could go down if there was someone for the people to rely on, you know. Which that's exactly what happens. All Might changes the world, you know? It they say in, in an episode in an earlier episode that it's because of All Might that there is no organized crime in the world. Because of one man. His idea did work, you know? And that was cool, you know. That was cool seeing um That was cool seeing, um, like, Shimura talk about it, you know? And talk about it with a young Gran Torino. Which, that wasn't... They didn't have a kid, did they? I don't know, like, who... I, I guess, so she got married, had a kid, then that kid grew up, had another kid who turned out to be Tomura Shigaraki... And then died. <laughs> Presumably they died to a villain or something? I don't know. They they died and then eventually Tenko Shimura was found by All for One and given the name Tomura Shigaraki. Which... Is that his name? Is All for One's name Shigaraki? Did he give uh, Tenko Shimura his name? I don't know. I don't know. We definitely need more backstory on Shigaraki. But man. And we actually get to see Shimura in this episode, which is so crazy, you know? It's the first time they really show Shimura. Because, you know, before this, this was all, you know... It, it was all, I guess, speculation on if she was a woman or not. And again, you know, like I said last episode, I've seen the intro a number of times now. It's very clearly a woman that passes on the power. But that was really good. Fuck, I want to watch that scene again. Hold up. Fuck it. I'm watching that again. Hold on. I had to go right back to the beginning so the logos have to play first. All right. I must remember where I started. I love that this continuing the theme of where I started. To live together happily. For that hmm. to happen, people need a symbol. A symbol? A symbol of peace. The reason crime is on the rise everywhere is because citizens have no one to believe in. They need to rely on something. They need a fucking Superman, and that's what he becomes. That's why I want to be the pillar that gives people hope. So that's what drives you to become a hero. Even if you're quirkless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Toshinori Yagi. Is that right? Those are some pretty funny ideas you got. <laughs> you're kind of crazy. I feel like you have to be insane in order for anyone to be like, Yeah, I'll give you this. <laughs> it's the same thing with Midoriya. That is the most amazing thing is watching a young Toshinori there... He's so much like Deku! <laughs> he is so much. God, it's it's so incredible watching that. Because it's like, yeah. that That's exactly what Midoriya does. You know? And that's, and that's pretty crazy, you know? Where he was like, look. I don't have a power. But I not only want to be a hero. I want to be the hero. So that people can, you know... Go and live happy lives, you know? I want to be a symbol of peace and justice. A pillar. So that they... So that people can live without fear. And Shimura's like... Okay. You're fucking crazy, but hey. 
If that if that's what drives you, that's pretty great. Fucking here's all here's one for all. Take it. Jesus. That's exactly it. It's like she looks at us like Okay. I have not seen that before. Very interesting. Which it makes you think, how are the others recruited, you know? If he's the first one to think like, hey, I want to be able to be a hero so that people can, you know, live in peace. I want to be the symbol of peace. And she, you know, as holder number seven, she's just like, whoa. Okay, we haven't heard that before. Fuck it, I'm watching that a fucking again. And I love, so this is the first time he meets Shimura. Because she says, so, your name is Toshinori Yagi, right? So this is the first time. So he found her. He found her. Th this is exactly a Deku All Might situation where he must have been a huge fan of her. And was like, look, this is what I fucking believe. And she's like, oh, okay. How about I help you? Here's one for all. I want to be the pillar that gives people hope. So that's what drives you to become a hero, even though you're quirkless. Yes. <laughs> Toshinori Yagi, is that right? Those are some pretty funny ideas you got. Ah. Uh. And man, just seeing Shimura for the first time. Damn. She's cute. <laughs> she really is. I'm sorry. She is. Oh, uh, man, I want... Now, here's the thing. We know we know that All for One ended up killing her. And frankly, early on in Toshinori's training, like, if I were to guess, I would say... Because Gran Torino was only a teacher at UA for one year, I would assume that just before All Might's senior year at UA, that's when Shimura died. So, I mean, that's a good at least two, maybe three years that the two of them are, you know, training together. I would fucking love to see a spinoff of... Shimura Gran Torino Shimura and Gran Torino training a young All Might. I would absolutely love to see that. And that it's just so cool that it's like, yeah. Honestly, it's the same situation that he must have been such a huge fan of Shimura that he tracked he eventually tracked her down, I guess. You know, kind of or you know, finally encountered her and told her why he wants to be hero. Not knowing a damn thing about One for All. But finally, you know, meeting his idol. His hero. And then she listens to him and is like, you know what? Okay. Here. You deserve One for All. And that's how he became All Might. Ugh. Fuck. I'm fucking sweating, man. <laughs> I'm fucking sweating. Yeah, Shimmer is too fucking hot for me. No. It's, I mean, it's the dead of July. It's the dead of July and the United States of Smash was intense, okay? I'm fucking sweating, alright? Oh my gosh. I'm sweating, but I'm also cold because I have my fan on high right now. Um, okay. <sighs> Push beyond. So yeah, in that last volley... All Might did lose. I mean, he went. He reverted back to his to his weak form, which was just crazy. And but he kept going, like with um, like when he faced um, like when he faced Nomu, he had to go beyond and he he had to go beyond his own limits. You know, shatter through his limits in order to fight. And I like. He did take what Gran Torino said. You cannot face this head on. You need to be witty about it. And he did. I like that. Um, the truth come out. The rumor come out. Does Bruno Mars is gay? No. Sorry. That's a Game Grooms reference. Anyway. The truth come out. The whole world now has seen... The whole world now has seen All Might in his weakened form. Which is insane, you know? Now everyone knows. Now everyone knows. And man, that scene when they're all like, oh, fucking 
the shit's the shit sucks you know the heroes are kind of slacking here and it's like you know and they're like oh where are the other heroes and it's like they're fucking dealing with no moves you know they're dealing with no moves you know moo you, you know you know anyway um but yeah the truth comes out now everyone knows about all might's weakened state which yeah i mean we had that flashback yeah he he covered up when he actually was weakened uh, I'm sorry. I paused right on. Uh, I I paused uh, just on Shimura. It just goddamn. She she's looking at me with them eyes and ugh. Sorry. I'm sorry. Ugh. <sighs> fucking. I just want a fucking spinoff with them. A prequel. Even if I even if I know I will have to watch Shimura's death. I fucking want to watch that. Uh, grandson. So, Tomura Shigaraki is, um, is Shimura's grandson, which is interesting. So, how old is All Might supposed to be? Is he, like, is he like in his 50s or something? I don't know. He might be. But, I don't, I don't think that fully makes sense, you know? I don't know. But, the thing is, you know... When they say, oh, it's her grandson, and I'm like, I don't know if she would have, like, it had, was it that long ago? But, at the same time, okay, you have to wonder, like, okay, well, how old is Shigaraki? He's, like, probably late teens, early 20s, maybe, you know? I, okay, I'd probably put him, like, maybe 23-ish, I guess. Yeah, we'll say about, we'll say 23 for his age. And if... Shimura, like, I don't know how old she was when she died. She doesn't look old, you know? Because I feel like All Might has been doing this hero shtick. Like, I, I think All Might has been, you know, working as a pro hero for 20 years. That feels right. That feels like the correct year. So, okay, 20 years. So that would be around when Shigaraki was born. And then, you know, maybe another 20 years? So are we doing, maybe, are we implying that Shimura was 40 when she met Toshinori? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but the thing that I do remind myself of is when it cut back to Gran Torino, it's like, oh yeah, he's old. And I don't think he's that much older than Shimura was. And you know, he's, you know, completely gray, although I guess he was always gray, but he has a gray beard and everything. He's clearly older. So, so I guess that makes sense. It, it was a bit of an, like, it kind of took me back as I was like, grandson, wait, I figured it would just, would have just been son, but no, that would have been like way long ago. So yeah, I don't know. We don't know how long this has all been, so. <sighs> Man, Shimura's grandson. Ugh. So that's crazy. And, you know, I do feel bad, you know, when All Might's like, what would she think of, you know, what we've become, you know? I mean, yeah, that does suck that her grandson became Tomura Shigaraki. I don't know, maybe they could save him. I don't know. Makes me wonder, though, did she have the decay power or was that something else? Uh, maybe, like, it was a different family member or... Or hell, who knows? Maybe All for One gave him the power of decay. I don't know. I don't know. Man, if she had decay... If she had decay... And one for all... She could have fucking disintegrated a building in like two seconds. Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that would be her power. I don't know. She does wear gloves, though. Deku wears gloves, though. Nah. Oh, man. So, yeah, we're definitely going to need to get more with Tomura Shigaraki. You know, he's still out there. He's still out there, so. Um, keep fighting. I like that there was one fucking person there. It was like, no, you have to keep fighting, and that, that helped. 
So I like that. And all the people that, you know, were kind of starting to doubt the heroes, they were like, no, keep fighting, All Might. You have to keep fighting. So I, I'm glad for that. Even though it's, you know, all for one being like, oh, well, you know, this was all Tomura Shigaraki's plan. This was all Tomura's plan to, uh, you know, to discredit the heroes and everything. So is it right for me to, you know, kind of do the final blow to All Might? But, um, but no, everyone was like, no, keep fighting, you know? You're still All Might. Even in that weakened form, you're still All Might. So that was good. We also got Endeavor showing up and seeing the truth about All Might. And him saying, like, look, you may be in a weakened form now, but you are still All Might. You know, he was like, look, the more we kept growing stronger, the more I knew there was a gap growing between our power. Like, he de definitely acknowledges All Might's power. And he's like, look... Show this guy that you are still All Might. Show him why you're the number one hero. You know, it's like, oh, that was so cool. Seeing Endeavor, you know, be like, hey, keep going, man. You you are number one for a reason. And then, yeah. So first off, you know, his his right arm beefed up. And it's like, oh, this is what fucking Deku used to do, you know? This is what Deku used to do, where he would channel all the power of One for All into one part of his body. That was literally it. The, all Might had to resort to that, basically. You know? All Might had to resort to that. But he... But it worked. And I like that he swapped out the power, you know? He would swap it out, you know? Channel it to other places. He was being witty, like Gran Torino said. Until finally delivering... The United States of Smash. What has to be the most powerful of All Might's attacks. Oh, I love it. I fucking love it. I love the United States of Smash. It's amazing. Oh, um, I, I hate to get off this nice screen I have of Shimura. But, um, but I do need to see. There was another point where... Um, where they were talking, like, Shimura was talking about, yeah, it's going to be hard to master. So it was even hard for All Might. You know, because Gran Torino said, like, oh, well, All Might kind of picked it up from the beginning. But sounds like it's not exactly true. And even he has yellow lightning, like Deku. She is like always proud of him. You can hear them, can't you? Even after everything he's done so far, the entire world continues to cheer you on. Their united voices cry out for your victory. That includes your students, whose admiration knows no bounds, who aspire with all hearts to be like you. I like that All for One's main attack is air. 
That's just awesome. Ugh. Fucking all for one just gets this fucking Zamasu arm going. He knows that All Might has already passed on one for all. Also, with just an ember, with residual power of one for all, All Might still defeats him utterly and thoroughly. You know? It's like, jeez. Imagine power within, like, All Might in his prime when he hasn't passed it on yet. When it's full one for all within him. You know? Like, that is just crazy, man. No control over him, do you? This fucking animation is great. I mean, it basically, like, it reinforces that the two of them are remnants of a forgotten time, basically. In the same way that All for One is just a broken man that's still fighting. Crazy to see him as fucked up as Midoriya gets. Oh. Fuck it, I'm watching the full thing again. Fuck it. Let me get that United States going. Crazy. 
shit was fucking crazy, man. Oh, man. Um, the last thing I wrote down. The last thing I wrote down is your turn. Because, yeah, this is this is it. This is the end of All Might, I feel like. I uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can... I don't know if there's anything else they can do. You know? I think this is the end of All Might. As we know him, at least. And now, the torch has fully, fully and completely been passed to Deku. Just as the torch has been passed from All for One to Tomura Shigaraki. <sighs> this is probably the best episode of the entire fucking show. And man oh man, it'll be, inter it'll be interesting if they can ever top this. Just, just watching the final act of the hero, All Might, is incredible. And... And I think that's where we gotta leave it now. So yeah. I guess next episode will probably be the aftermath of everything. Oh man. So that's pretty much it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my My Hero Academia reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.